What if I told you that millions of gallons of water fall on your roof every year and you're just letting it go to waste? Imagine having a free, sustainable water source that can help lower your water bills, keep your garden lush, and even provide emergency drinking water. That's the power of a rainwater collection system. In this guide, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to build a full rainwater collection system from start to finish. But here's something to think about. Do you know how much rainwater you could actually collect in a year? Stick around to find out. Understanding Rainwater Collection System A rainwater collection system is designed to capture and store rainwater for later use. Whether you're using it for irrigation, household chores, or even drinking water with proper filtration, a well-built system can be a game changer for water conservation. The main components of a rainwater collection system include a catchment area roof, gutters, downspouts, a filtration system, storage tanks, and a distribution system. The best part about rainwater harvesting is that it works anywhere with rainfall. Even in drier climates, you can collect thousands of gallons of water annually. For instance, if you have a 1,000 square foot roof and get one inch of rain, you can collect around 600 gallons of water. Now imagine how much that adds up to over the course of a year. This system not only reduces your dependence on municipal water, it also helps in times of drought and water shortages. Did you know that rainwater harvesting has been practiced for thousands of years? Ancient civilizations like the Romans and the Mayans built sophisticated collection systems to store water for dry season. It's a simple yet incredibly effective way to use nature's resources wisely. Choosing the right location for your system. Before setting up your rainwater collection system, you need to choose the right location for maximum efficiency. The ideal catchment surface is a sloped, non-porous roof made of metal, asphalt shingles, or tile. Some roofing materials like treated wood or old tar-based shingles can introduce contaminants, so they're not ideal for potable water collection. Your gutters and downspouts should be in good condition and free of debris to ensure smooth water flow. If you don't already have gutters, installing them is a must. A storage tank should be placed on stable, level ground and as close to the collection area as possible to reduce water loss and make the system more efficient. One thing most people forget, shade matters. If your water tank is exposed to too much sunlight, algal growth can become a major problem. Placing the tank in a shaded area or painting it with UV resistant paint can prevent this issue. Here's a fun fact, Singapore, a country with limited freshwater resources, relies heavily on rainwater collection systems to supplement its water supply. It's proof that rainwater harvesting isn't just for rural areas, it's a smart solution even for urban environments. Installing gutters and downspouts Gutters and downspouts are essential for directing rainwater from your roof into your storage tank. If you already have a gutter system, inspect it for leaks, cracks, or blockages. If you're installing new gutters, opt for seamless aluminum or PVC to minimize leaks. Make sure your gutters are slightly sloped, about 1 quarter inch per 10 feet, to encourage proper water flow toward the downspouts. Use gutter guards and leaf screens to prevent leaves, twigs, and debris from clogging the system. Your downspouts should be connected to first flush diverters. These help redirect the first few gallons of rainwater, which may contain dirt and pollutants from the roof. Once the initial runoff is diverted, clean water flows into the storage tank. Did you know that poorly maintained gutters can cause thousands of dollars in water damage to your home? Keeping them clean and well maintained not only helps with rainwater collection, but also protects your property from leaks and foundation damage. Choosing and installing a storage tank Your storage tank is the heart of your rainwater collection system. The right tank depends on your water needs, space availability, and budget. Tanks come in various materials including plastic, polyethylene, affordable, lightweight, and easy to install, metal, steel, or aluminum, durable but can be prone to rust without proper coating, concrete, long-lasting and great for large-scale storage, but expensive and heavy, underground cisterns, ideal for saving space but require excavation. For most households, a 1,000 to 5,000 gallon tank is sufficient. If you're using rainwater for irrigation, a smaller tank may work, but for household use you'll need a larger capacity. To prevent contamination, always cover your tank with a tight-fitting lid and install a fine mesh screen over the inlet to keep out insects and debris. If you live in a cold climate, insulate the tank or bury it partially underground to prevent freezing. Did you know that some modern rainwater tanks come with built-in UV purification and smart monitoring systems that track water levels and quality in real time? Technology is making rainwater collection more efficient than ever. Filtration and purification. If you're using rainwater for drinking or cooking, filtration is crucial. While rainwater is generally clean, it can pick up contaminants from the roof and gutters. A proper filtration system includes sediment filters to remove dirt, leaves, and debris, carbon filters to remove odors, chemicals, and chlorine, UV sterilizers to kill bacteria and viruses, reverse osmosis systems for the highest level of purification. For irrigation or flushing toilets, basic filtration, such as a sediment filter, is usually enough. However, if you plan to drink the water, investing in a multi-stage filtration system is a must. Here's something crazy. Some of the cleanest drinking water in the world comes from rainwater filtration systems in remote islands, 
where natural fresh water is scarce. With the right setup, rainwater can be just as clean as bottled water. Setting up a distribution system. Once your rainwater is stored and filtered, it's time to distribute it where it's needed. You can use a gravity fed system or a pump system to move water to your house, garden, or appliance. Gravity fed systems rely on elevation. If your tank is placed higher than where you need water, gravity will do the work for you. No electricity needed. Pump systems use an electric or solar powered pump to move water through pipes. This is necessary if your tank is at ground level and needs to push water up to higher locations. For irrigation, consider installing drip irrigation or soaker hoses to maximize efficiency. For indoor use, connect the system to toilets, washing machines, and outdoor taps using separate plumbing. Fun fact, some cities offer rebates and incentives for homeowners who install rainwater harvesting systems, helping you save money while conserving water. Maintenance and troubleshooting. Like any system, your rainwater collection setup requires regular maintenance to keep it working efficiently. Here's a simple maintenance checklist. Clean gutters and leaf screens every few months. Inspect the tank for leaks, aisle dip, or sediment buildup. Flush the first flush diverter regularly to remove dirt. Check and replace filters as needed. Ensure pipes and pumps are working properly. A common issue with rainwater collection is mosquito breeding in open tanks. Always use tight-fitting lids and mesh screens to keep insects out. Did you know that one inch of rain can produce thousands of gallons of water depending on your roof size? With regular maintenance, your system can provide years of free, clean water. And there you have it, a full rainwater collection system from start to finish. Whether you're looking to cut down your water bill, create an eco-friendly home, or have an emergency backup supply, this system is a game changer. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Would you ever build a rainwater collection system for your home? Let's chat in the comments.